of Canada and the United States of America.
historic free trade agreement. Important as that step is, there are still other steps to be taken on the global economic stage. You and I will be meeting again in Toronto this June at the Economic Summit, where we will have discussions with our colleagues from Europe and Japan. We hope to move the process of international economic coordination forward. These discussions will also speed the way to what we trust will be a successful gap round of negotiations. We know that Canada shares with us our concerns about those many barriers to agriculture that we give substance to a comprehensive multilateral reform of the international trading system. This will not be easy to accomplish, but it must be undertaken. And our objectives must include meaningful progress on agriculture. Agriculture is fundamental to both our economies, and it is an export area in which we're highly competitive in a free and open world market. The United States actively seeks the elimination of all subsidies in agriculture as a top priority. Together, we must be successful in order to restore market forces in world agriculture. Cooperation is the hallmark of our relationship in other areas. We will be working with Canada on the largest cooperative high technology project we have ever undertaken, the permanently manned civil more way. Make no mistake, we are moving. Ours is a relationship with people and their ability to hold personal and bilateral security relations. It is a great benefit to the smooth operation of NORAD and NATO and our shared responsibilities for the defense of North America. In recent contribution to the defense effort of this. this is but another illustration of a shared sense of purpose. Vice President Bush, Mrs. Bush, and Secretary Schultz, and friends, I want to thank you, Mr. President, for your kind words and generous welcome. It's a pleasure to be back among the friends. Visits to Canada, the world's largest tourist invasion, save one which would be the nearly 45 million visits made last year by Canadians to the U.S. And I think that gives you an indication, Mr. President, and I point this out to Secretary Baker. There is an imbalance in those figures, an imbalance in your favor, but I assure you we have no plans to legislate against you. Mr. President, I was determined when I took office to approach relations between our countries and their institutions. Le nouvel au sommet, fait nouveau dans l'histoire des relations canado-américaines, sont maintenant devenus, je l'espère bien, une partie intégrante de nos relations. In the, sec in the president's second term of office, and in what I hope will be, but I gather you have something in this country called the 22nd Amendment. But the principles we set out for ourselves at Quebec in 1985 by this president, 
geopolitical potential is most significant. And I too want to pay tribute to Jim Baker and Clayton Yeider for the very constructive role they played with our top people at a most critical chance contributions to NATO. We have reached a pragmatic solution on the issue of transit through the Northwest Passage. The issue of acid rain remains a challenge for us. Le problème des pluies acides demeure entier. Good morning. 